It's, I mean, they run the same stuff, and, you know, we prepare for all their personnel anyway. So we prepare for Jimmy Butler. I think he'll play. Um, but we're also prepared for, uh, you know, Shabazz Muhammad because he's going to play either way. So uh, it doesn't do anything to your preparation. Does Butler change anything for Wiggins? I mean, just, just his presence, does he allow Wiggins to do anything different? Well, look, I, I would say this. Anytime you get two wing guys like that is – you know, I mean, it, it, it allows one of them gets not maybe not the primary. One of them is always going to have the guy that's not your primary defender every night. So I think that helps them both. Also, they get the toughness with Taj and with Jimmy, that, that defensive minded. Well, I think that's what, uh, you know, I think that's what Tom wanted. Obviously, both guys he really knows. He wanted to, you know, he wanted to add some toughness to that team, and he has with uh with those two guys, you know, and, and he's still, I mean, their talent level is extremely high. I mean, extremely high with, with Wiggins and Towns and Jimmy Butler and, you know, and then Crawford off the bench. And, I mean, this is a uh, Shabazz Muhammad could score. It's a really, really talented offensive team. And um, and then I think he, he gets those guys to – Butler adds to everything, but to add some toughness and some defense and stuff. So I think it's a team that has a chance to to really make some noise. Plus, Tom's obviously a, uh, an outstanding coach. With Wiggins offensively, last night it didn't look like he had a great night, but I watched that Oklahoma game. It was, is it just the jumper falling for him that's helping him make that step? It's everything. He's shooting the ball really well. We know how athletic he is. And, and guys gain confidence as they go on in time in the league. I mean, yeah, he's uh, – you know, he, he, he got his contract signed, which obviously that helps a great deal in terms of confidence. I, I just think, you know, look, I, I mean, not always, but most of the time, the, uh, the number one, you know, you're the number one pick in the draft for a reason. You usually have pretty good talent, and, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're running into those guys right now, like in a stretch, so it's, uh, it's interesting. What has Drake done in the past? I think he had a 2020.